day of practice, another day of Dakota Dot Prescott. Lighten it up. But let me guess. You only want to focus on the interceptions. Good people, it's your boy Mr. Rome, Cowboys Fan Talk, right back like I never left. What's up with y'all, man? One and a half more days. One and a half more days till we see our Cowboys take the field. Now, it's the first preseason game, but I don't care. It's active competition versus another team. I know it don't count. As far as it don't count in the standings, but it counts. It's important, and I can't wait. Tomorrow, we're going to get in here and talk about things I want to see in the game, people I want to see excel, etc. Today, we're going to just talk about camp. First things first, Dak Prescott continues to impress me in camp. And I know people say I'm biased. I got rose-colored glasses on. That's why I would have read today. Um, I'm only focused on or Cowboys Blue, whatever y'all want to call it, um, the positive. I don't want to acknowledge the negative, and it's not that. It's not that. See, I've been going back and forth with some of y'all favorite TV show hosts from FS1 today. Um, And this is somebody actually I would consider at least cordial. um, Emmanuel Acho from FS1. We've had exchanges on Twitter a bunch. Pretty cool dude. Don't know him personally, obviously. But um, we exchange on Twitter. And it's usually it's amicable. We don't have no problems. And I don't got no problems with him after this conversation today. It's just we we, we, kind of opposed in the way we look at things. And his point is, he keeps saying, and I want y'all to answer this in the comments. Please take your time to answer this. He thinks that Dak Prescott should pull back and try to throw for 23 touchdowns this year and like four interceptions and play conservative and be a game manager, and that'll lead to more wins. And I'm like, absolutely not. I feel like Dak Prescott is capable of throwing for He He said if he throws for 37 touchdowns and 10 interceptions, that's bad because of the six, six more interceptions. I said that math is crazy. That's like 98 points difference. Give me the extra 14 touchdowns and the six interceptions. Those six interceptions might not even lead to points because of how good our defense is. They might score, let's just say, three more times. Let's split it down the middle. Defense holds the other three times. 21 points versus an extra 98 points. Now, give me the, the 14 touchdowns. Let's not be silly. Let's not just be silly, okay? Um, and if you're moving the ball that much, that means that the other plays you don't actually score, maybe the running back scores because you're – trying to progress the ball down the field. Your mindset is to score and attack, not to be, oh, I don't know if I'm going to throw an intercept. Let me just say this up front. You saw the clips in the beginning of the video. Dak Prescott can go out there and throw 10, 12 interceptions this year, and I will not care. I don't. If Dak Prescott gets me 35 to 37 interceptions, I don't care about uh, uh, 30, <laughs> 40 and slip. 35 touchdowns, I do not. 35 to 37 touchdowns, I don't care about an extra five, six interceptions. I don't. Do I think he's going to throw 15 again? No. I think Dak is going to last somewhere between 9 and 11. Somewhere between 9 and 11. Now, if we hit that number of 10, the world will freak out and act like the like it's over. The world's coming to an end. No. No, because if you look at your favorite quarterbacks, from Patrick Mahomes to Josh Allen to Joe Burrow, they average about 9 to 11 interceptions a year. If you're throwing for 4,500 yards, you average between 9 and 11. That's a fact. That's not me making up stuff. There's outlier years like Aaron Rodgers and, and maybe even Jalen Hurts last year. But quarterbacks that throw the ball and not hold it to tuck it to run it, yeah, you're going to throw it to the other team sometimes, especially if you're being aggressive. So I showed those clips in the beginning to just show you Dak is still out here getting busy. That catch to CD Lamb was filthy too. <sighs> filthy CD. You know, we hit Jalen Brooks. Brandon Cooks, Jalen Tolbert, everyone. Dak Prescott was in his bag today. And the media's not going to focus on that. They're not. They're going to ignore it. And the next time he throws an interception, they're going to say, yo, he's having such a horrible camp. Everybody's saying he's having such a horrible camp. But by my count, he's probably up to about 50 touchdowns. You know why? Because they want to focus on the negative. I'm not going to be an idiot and count 50 camp touchdowns because they're practice. Just like you shouldn't be an idiot and camp and count like seven interceptions in camp because it's practice. But look at that ratio. Look at that ratio. Let's not be silly. Now let's talk about the rest of the team. Um, 
Chuma Idoga got hurt today. And all it made me think about is what I said yesterday. That O-line depth is scarce. We need some, I was thinking, do we need Dalton Reisner? Um, the, the guard from Washington last year, I forgot his name, Ola Norwell. Um, do we need to go get another guard? Do we need to trade for a guard? I can't wait to see this depth. They're not going to do nothing before Saturday. I need to see the depth at guard look like something. And if it doesn't, I need my front office to be proactive and go get somebody. No, you're not going to find a Zach Martin on the street. I plan on Zach Martin come back to come back to the team, Zach. But I need insurance just in case Zach get a twisted ankle. And if Idoga has a hyper extended knee or something like that, if he can't get back, I need to get some some depth in here. That's just my thoughts. Um, can't wait to see the Deuce Vaughn. I really, really can't. Um, seriously, I, I don't mind repeating myself. I just want to see it in real time. Some plays that look like Deuce ain't going to be able to go nowhere. He's going to just get hemmed up. So I got to see it because some of these plays is like, ah, would he have actually got past if it wasn't like to thud and not um, – not um like they're not tackling fully you know what i'm saying i want to see deuce when they're tackling fully and i can't wait for saturday afternoon because i'm gonna gonna be able to see it or evening or whatever you want to call it um defensive wise so i had a demarion overshone showing or flash definitely a great tackle shown today weaving through traffic knowing how to scrape looks good looks real good you know what i'm saying that's one of our depth pieces at linebacker one of the young missiles that we we drafted. So I'm happy about that. And you know what I'm saying? This whole thing, this whole thing with the whole Dak and like, he's struggling. We have the number one defense in the league in my eyes. Now you can go San Fran or someone else, but I feel like we're top three and we ain't three. That's me. Of course, I'm a Cowboys fan. If you're anywhere in the top three, you're going to choose your team. Our defense is great. Anyone would struggle against our defense, any quarterback. I think it's great. As I've been saying, iron sharpens iron. Dak needs to go against a defense this great in camp. Push him so that when the moment gets tight, he's going to be all right. That's all I'm saying. I, I, I like it. Push him. You know what I'm saying? Also, great news, um, Mozzie will play this weekend. Mozzie will play this weekend. He practiced today. Tyler Beatish practiced today. Thank God. I was worried. Like, Beatish getting hurt. Ido getting hurt. I was like, all right now. But, look, they're going to pl- – I don't know if Beatish is going to play because he ain't got nothing to prove he's a starter. Um, Mozzie Smith will play this Saturday, though, so that's good. Um, I'm happy. Um, Mike McCarthy said Jabril Cox looks to be back. You know, it's good to hear that from your head coach. So, that's good. You know, Jabril Cox looking good. Um, I'm in good spirits. I'm in real good spirits. I know there's some things we might be worried about. Um, McCarthy said that he's going to give Aubrey all the Brandon Aubrey all the chances in the world to earn that kicker spot this weekend. So when we get within good kicking range, he's kicking it. And I want to see him do well. I want to get comfortable with my kicking situations because that's one the main thing I'm most nervous about. Offensive line too a little bit, but I mean I seen Dak Prescott have one of his best games ever when Zach Martin was out versus the Bucks two years ago. So it's possible. We also had Connor McGovern, so. Maybe I'm tripping. But anyway, I feel good about the team, man. I'm going to leave y'all with one last thing. Um, a, 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 a person I didn't know I was going to start to really rock with, Nick Wright, Chiefs fan, devout Patrick Mahomes defender, has been sharing the gospel and speaking good over the Cowboys. So I'm going to leave you guys with the words of the very smart and astute Nick Wright. At one tweak... I would flip-flop Buffalo and Dallas. I think Dallas is right there with Philadelphia, and I think Buffalo takes a step back. Leslie Frazier gone. True. The off-season drama. True. Uh, uh, Josh Allen, a f- another a f- more time removed from Brian Dable, but where your herd hierarchy is spot on. Sure. I think the Cowboys, I think people, we talk so much about the Cowboys that I think they are constantly either overrated or underrated. And I think at this point, Colin, they might be a touch underrated. This is a team last year that went 12-5. and The losses were week one of the season uh, against the Eagles with their backup quarterback, overtime to Aaron Rodgers, 
overtime to Trevor Lawrence and a meaningless Week 18 game. They rolled Tampa in the first round of the playoffs, and then they lost a one-score game to a San Francisco team that had won 11 in a row by an average of 17 points. They did all of that last year despite the fact that their quarterback missed five weeks. I think Dallas could be really, really good. And savage! I'm a savage! Oh! I'm a savage! Whatever I want, I'm going to get! Whatever I want, I have to get! Yes! What's next?